he seems to have an, an affinity for me. Um, I don't know what it's about, but he needs to stop. <laughs> when it comes to the issue of the crime rate, um, he always tried to paint a picture that crime is out of control, and uh, he knew it is not true. But he only do it for political reasons, which is wrong. It is not the duty of a politician to politicize the issue of crime and uh, try to gain points from the misfortune of others. We have our national statistics. And when it comes to the murder, the murder count, the stats don't lie. You all have it. And I don't need to be the one to tell you. You can go into your archives and you can see for yourselves that from 2012 to present, 12 years, the worst year in the history of this country when it comes to murders is 2012, when we had 147 or 48 murders. The second most deadliest year I think it was 2018 when we had 145, and then 2017, 143. Mm. The best years we have had is 2013 mm -hmm. when we had 99 murders. That's the only year the murder count had been under uh, 100 since 2008. The second best year to that was 2020 when we had so much state of emergency under COVID. And as well as that year, we also had the gang state of emergencies. That year, we had 104. The third best year was last year, 2022, when we had 113. Yeah. When we compared the first half of this year, 2023, to those <coughs> three years, 20. 13, 20, um, 20, and uh, 2022. We are down compared to those three years. So for the leader of the opposition to say that murders are occurring more frequent than before, he is lying.